Russian satellites 121 megapixel image of Earth is the most detailed yet. And yes, um, they're supposedly taking these pictures every 30 minutes. It's called the um, Electro L number one, but they also have a number two as well. And they actually have a link to the FTP server, which you can go see yourself, much like we, we did for the GO satellite and the Himawari images, which have already been proven to be pasted over a black background. But here is the link. You can go to this link yourself. You can see the Electro L1 and the Electro L2. You can go into those yourself and see these images supposedly taken. But of course we know they're not images. They're pasted over a black background. They're no different than the blue marble. They're all doing the same thing. And you'll get images like this. Like, wow, look, look at this. It's amazing. You'll get images like that of the clouds. Pretty cool. But if you click this top picture uh, under June, something cool, <laughs> something amazing shows up. Uh, okay, because I was really surprised that they left this on there. But again, they just don't care. This picture is on there. Does anybody want to care to explain this to me? If you're a fan of these space agencies, please explain why there's just a pitch black background, which is a square shape, and then there's a circular white, you know, earth in the middle. We all know the answer. It's a model. This is a model. This is not the earth, but this is what they made the earth with. And uh, yeah, you increase the brightness on these images, there's, there, there is no box around it because they're using a transparent background. However, if there are boxes, they are just pasting it in with a previously uh, saved background. However, there is no data. You know, if I take a picture of the sky at night and increase the brightness enough from a camera, I'll actually see noise and bits of data show, but you never see that, and that's because this is a black background. It's not actually space. They do this on all the images. I did this myself with the blue marble over a black background. You can see there's no boxes. There's no squares around it. On the top left, you see that's the uh, blue marble. The next two are Himawari, and the last one is the Electro. Notice how they all have the exact same size, the exact same black cropping around it, because they're all using the same model. And Rob Simon even goes into the fact that he uses GDAL uh, to, to, to use the natural earth uh, maps. And look, I mean, they all are the same, and they're all made from this white square thing, uh, this white circle within a black square. This is all from the Electro. You see how it starts and how it progresses into the model at the end. It's a fake Terminator line. It's literally done in a photo editing program. But I wanted to show you guys, I took this picture many, many years ago of a flower in my yard with my old Canon Rebel T1S. Okay, this is a very old photo. It's non-processed, straight off the camera. It is a JPEG, and the camera did uh, convert it to JPEG from RAW. But I haven't put it in any photo program. But when you run it in JPEG Snoop, look at all the camera, uh, the Canon cameras that it detects. And that's just because the EOS series all share the same signature. However, it, it does correctly detect in the green box the, T1, uh, the T1i, which is the camera that I did have. And so it knows that. Yeah, and that's because of the, med, uh, the EXIF data. But I'm going to put it in a, at a program called Photoscape, okay? And down there it says, you know, do you want to maintain the EXIF information? I do not check that at all. And I modified it and I put some red star things over it so you know it wasn't the original. I saved it through Photoscape. And look what we get. The camera data is gone. There is no Canon Rebel anymore, but it's detecting this Casio computer camera, Pentax, and Sigma. Why is that? Well, that is a signature that comes from saving through Photoscape. I know this for a fact because I've done this in other, uh, other, some other tests with some pictures that I've saved through the program. So it over, overrode it. But this is an image. I'm getting the same results. This is from the Electro, from, from the supposed picture from space. This image was, uh, was done in Photoscape. It's an exact match for what we're getting here. It's not, it's not detecting real cameras. What it's detecting is a software program. And just so you know how easy it is to actually remove this information, if you just go search compressed JPEG, you go to this link here. I uploaded that original flower picture. And when I put it back in JPEG Snoop, look, nothing at all. It's a new signature. It's never detected. It has no idea that it was taken with a cannon. It has no idea that it was put online and compressed nothing at all uh, Photoshop would leave its own signature but even if I save this picture a thousand times in Photoshop and then use this compression technique it wouldn't even know it was put through Photoshop it's that simple and so that brings us back to these Mars images that we're getting the result for the Sony Cybershot U including the descent photos it looks like a coffee table what <laughs> what is that um, but if you guys remember it was getting a match for the Sony Cybershot U and now I'm starting to think this may have not been taken with that camera. Either it was taken with the camera or it's matching a new software program. But as you can see, 
um, this picture from Electro is a match for the Sony Cybershot U. Well, so what's going on here? So I'm starting to think, yeah, it's not a camera, but rather there is some sort of software program that these images are going through that is, is matching a Cybershot U's compression data. And it's not just from the ICER compression that's supposedly coming from the Mars images because their images are compressed on Mars because this is also supposed to be taken in space looking at Earth and they're not the same. So there is some sort of software program that has a signature that I just don't know what it is yet. But they are definitely modifying these pictures and they are not raw data by any stretch of the imagination.